the first instance, it's better if people can resolve issues between themselves because that's, that's part of an ongoing pattern of being able to resolve any issues that might crop up again in the future. Uh, the next step is that if, if you and I are not able to resolve an issue, then involving a third person, like a mediator, and a mediation service will help us to resolve that in a way that um, allows us to rebuild our relationship to at least a working relationship. Uh, the difficulty with going to court is that most people believe they will have their day in court, that they'll get to talk about what it is that you know they're hurt or upset or worried about, um, and in fact that, that's not the case. The court is there to decide points of law, not to listen to relationship issues, not to listen to worries, not to listen to who's right and wrong in terms of how people feel. It's really just a judgement about a right or a wrong. Personally, and professionally, that would be my last step in, in taking someone to court. Uh, again, if we're going to live there and be good uh, neighbours, there must be other options available in sorting out our problems. Now, whether those problems are noise, or whether they're uh, fencing issues or trees, there are different ways of, uh, of, of working through it. Uh, talking to the neighbour, communicating with the neighbour, understanding where they're coming from is so, so important. Trying to take them to court is probably not going to be the best thing for you in terms of um, building the best relationship between your neighbour. So what you want to do is to try and diffuse the situation as much as possible. So to try as many other alternatives, such as actually going to them and speaking to them, because if you've never actually spoken to them about the problem, then you don't know whether they're going to say yes or no. Sometimes the alternatives to court are, are cheaper, are often quicker, um, easier to access. So giving it a go yourself, having the confidence to give it a go yourself. And if you don't, getting a friend or a family or even an advocate, someone who can speak on your behalf to help you have those discussions or help you resolve those things with your neighbour can be a much, much better way to go. Resolving it between yourselves is, is going to be a much quicker, much cheaper, much easier way to, to go forward. Plus it'll preserve the relationship. You won't have a neighbour who you never want to see again or who never wants to see you and who there's tension with every time you pull up in the driveway. When it comes to taking the neighbours to court, the most important thing is thinking about the ongoing relationship, the damage that taking your neighbour to court is going to do with the ongoing relationship. There's always going to be some reason that you're going to feel the need to have some interaction with them if they're perhaps making noise at night and you want to ask them to turn the music down? Do you want to call the police every time that happens? Or would you like to be able to raise it the next day and just say, I'd really appreciate it if the noise was down by 10 o'clock because I've got a baby and she's asleep. By escalating the situation to court, it's almost forcing you to escalate it to another authority every time. And if you can resolve it yourself, you can actually achieve a resolution that's acceptable to both you and your neighbour today. If you were to go over and speak to your neighbour and explain your concerns and listen to their concerns, then there's every likelihood that by this afternoon, before you go to bed, you can actually be comfortable in the knowledge that you've resolved the dispute. If you go to court, there's obviously, it's a, it's a much longer process.